there was a debate among the students that interface is a contract or it's just a library in this video we're going to learn about interface that what it is and how you can create and how you can inherit that interface into your smart contract so there are a couple of facts which you have to know about the interface interface cannot have any function implementation so i will explain what is function implementations interface inherit from other interface so you have one interface you can inherit the property of other interface into that interface all declare function must be external cannot declare a constructor cannot declare state variable so these are the couple of property of interface when you want to create so let's have a practical look so let's provide the general configuration we have to provide the salty version now we have to create a contract and we're going to call the contract to counter and in that we're going to define our couple of variables so it's going to be unt public and we're going to call count let's come down here we're going to create a function we'll call increment and it's going to be external and that we're going to simply call count plus one so we want to increment our state variable by one every time someone will call the function it's pretty simple function now let's come here this is the first contract we have and now we're going to create an interface because this is what the topic is about interface so we have to if you want to declare interface you have to use the keyword interface and we have to give the name so you can give whatever name you want to your interface and in that we have to define all the functions so let's come here here we're going to call this function count and it's going to be external view and return so there are a couple of property of the function which you define in the interface which you have to follow so first it will take the normal function keyword then you have to define the name of the function and it's always going to be an external type no private no public no internal it's going to be an external type you can use view and you can use pure it's totally up to you and you can return the data from the function or you can't it's totally your choice but it will always follow the external and you cannot declare any variable you cannot declare any constructor into your interface so let's declare here that's the few things you have to keep in mind now let's come here let's create in the function we'll call it increment external and that's how you can define the interface let's create another contract we'll call it my contract and that we're going to create another function and we're going to call this increment con functions and in that we're going to simply take this data address external and we're going to call the increment interface we have created in that we're going to pass that count increment so can you please explain me what is happening here write down in the comment sections and just tell me what is happening here so here what we are doing is we are creating a contract in that we are creating a function inside the function we are taking an address and that data we are taking we are passing into our interface and this is how we got that interface into our my contract i contract we are passing the data and we are calling the increment function so whenever someone will call this function it will store the data and it will increment that number that increment function is there so that's the pretty simple function we have here now let's create another function we'll call it get count and in that we're going to pass this data external view return is going to return the unt we have to return our counter and we're going to call this count function we have here now we're going to take the example of the unisop so i believe that most of you are following the unisop decentralized exchange which we are working on if you haven't followed that make sure to watch because that's going to be the huge thing and i'm going to take the example from there to explain you that how it exactly work so let's come here let's declare the interface and in that we're going to call this unisop v2 factory so there is a contract is available in the unisop documentation you can check it from there and that's what i'm going to use it here so let's come here we're going to call this function get pairs it will take the token address a token address b and external and it's going to be view and it's going to return me the address of the pairs so this is the very first function let's create another interface we'll call it unisop v3 pair in that we're going to create this function get reserve external it will be view and it will going to return the address sorry unt 112 reverse 0 unt 12 reverse 1 the two tokens and it will have this unt which is a time block stamp stamp and that's the get reverse function so i'm not coming up with this because these are there in the unisop smart contract so you can simply refer back there so that looks fine let's create a contract 
we'll call it uniswap example and that we're going to take the address which is a private type factory is going to be this so this is the address of the uniswap v2 again i'm getting from the <laughs> uniswap contract this is the first address let's take the another one which is a private die address this is the die address on the main net and let's take another one this one is the width address on the main net and let's come down here we're going to take this function called get token reserve external view returns unt unt that's the two data we want to return from there and in that we're going to simply call this add pairs and we're going to call this units of v2 and that we're going to pass the factory and we're going to pass the pair get pair and that we have to pass the two token address so let's pass that one here we have the two token let's call this unt reserve and we have to pass all this data and we're going to call this pair get reserve then we have to simply return these two and that's it i know most of you are guys are confused at what i have done what we have written but it will make sense here we are trying to learn about the interface that how exactly it works so this is the entire contract we have built to learn about interface so this is the first contract in that we have this variable we have this increment function then we have this interface inside the interface we have this two function now we have the second contract in that we have this two function and this is the interface for uniswap v3 factory get pair in that we are passing these two data here we have the second interface which is a uniswap v3 pair in that we are passing all this data and this is the contract factory address and this is the two token address and this is the get token reserve so right now i don't have this data but i want to show you so let's come here and let's deploy the contract the first one so let's deploy that one if we click on this deploy here we got it if you come here you can call this count you can see you got this zero if you call it increment if you come here you can see it's working it's incrementing it's incrementing so this contract is working fine so this is how the interface exactly work this is how you inherit the property right now it's not working because we are not providing the valid address but it will make more sense when we write the smart contract so make sure to watch the uniswap smart contract we have written for the decentralized exchange and that we have inherit this uniswap smart contract addresses so make sure to access there to watch that to have a better understanding that what exactly is happening here rewatch the video and trying to understand that how we are entering property the only thing you have to keep in mind that inheritance is not a smart contract and if you want to inherit you can define it and you can use it in the contract like this this is how you can initialize and use it